Well, praise God, and we bless God for this wonderful day, a wonderful day, a wonderful day. This is the day the Lord have made. We're rejoicing and we're glad in this day. We want to welcome you to this very special edition of Spotlight on Ministry, our Christmas special for 2021, sponsored by the Interdenominational Assembly of Churches, USA. Welcome to all of you. If it's your first time, we certainly want to welcome you to share with us today as we're going to be sharing very briefly a synopsis on this wonderful Christmas thing, the virgin birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And uh, we're so excited today and we thank God for another celebration during this Advent season as we witness and celebrate the miracle birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, the one who came that we might be reconciled back to God the Father, that we might have a right to the tree of life. Listen, friends, I want you to do me a favor. If you're joining us in the midst of your uh, family celebration, thank God for family. Some of us haven't seen each other in a while and still dealing with some circumstances and situations beyond our control that prohibits us from gathering as we would love to gather. But for those of you that had the privilege today, thank God for this privilege. And we pray that all of you are doing well and you are exercising the proper protocols to keep your, yourself and your family safe during this wonderful time of celebration the exchanging and giving of gifts and just sharing with family. So we're excited. I want you to jump in the comment section and um, join us today as we celebrate. And then of course, tag your friends, like, and share. Do that for us if you will. And uh, again, we welcome you to this special edition of our special broadcast today here on Christmas day. We are live. I am at my home. Thank God for God sparing us. Thank God for my mother and family and all of you, our friends, our extended family. I want to give a shout out to all of our uh, Interdenominational Assembly of Churches USA family, pastors, and member churches, and to all of our musical family, the Fellowship of Music and Arts, and all of our extended family across the length and breadth of this country all over, even around the world. We greet you and we bless you today and thank God for you. And we pray that uh, you woke up today finding all things well with you and your family so you can gather uh, for this special celebration. It's an exciting time to be alive. It's an exciting time uh, to witness what God has done and to witness what God is doing and to be a recipient preparing for what God is going to do. And uh, listen, friends, I want you to know that this is a strategic time that all of us share and we are just excited about it. Uh, and, and we're so excited about it until we just can't help but give him glory, honor, and praise for all that he has done for all that he's doing, for all that he promised to do on our behalf. So God is worthy to be praised, and we thank God for who he is and what he has already done on the behalf of his people. So listen, I want you to prepare your heart uh, as we prepare to just briefly look at a meditation today uh, in the word of God that I feel is going to be a blessing to us where we can uh, really glean something uh, and a message for our meditation. And I'm sure those of you, you've already enjoyed uh, uh, your meal and you've sat with family and friends, and now you're just preparing uh, to do what most folk do. As they say, go to sleep, take a nap or whatever. Oh, but we bless you today and thank God for you. Uh, blessings to you. Thank God for uh, Pastor Mahone. Blessings, man of God, for joining us today. Mm 
Amen. Uh, so we are excited about this wonderful season in this time. And uh, we just give God glory, honor, and praise. And what we're going to do, Pastor, Pastor Mahone, I, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Emmanuel, what it means to have God with us. Matthew 1, verse number 18. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When, as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and knew her not, till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. Well, that is the text that we'll be looking at today, Matthew chapter number one. Pastor, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you to join in with me as we just give a brief meditation on what it means in the Bible to have God with us. Oh, bless his wonderful name. And here in the word, we find countless Christmas cards during this time of year throughout the centuries. They've sung the Christmas carols that we love. Scripture has recorded the first scriptures in Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14, when it says, therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and he will call him Emmanuel. That's the NIV version. And then the Lord himself, the Bible says, is going to do this. And we are so glad that in this dispensation of grace, we are witnessing uh, of the mighty power of God being with us, the Lord himself, who has done it. Scripture says, in other words, this act, this act which occurred in birth, the birth of Jesus and God ordained him uh, to come, which completes his work to accomplish the reconciliation of all mankind back to the Father. It points to grace, which comes not through human effort, but rather through the, the effort of God and God's love toward all humanity. This was the reason that Christ came. God gave us this child, named him Emmanuel, which really means uh, God is with us. And the one that is with us is he who came not only in the flesh, but he came as God and as man. He was fully God and fully mankind. So you might ask, well, what does that have to do with us? in 2021. I'm glad you asked. In truth, God is always and has always been with us. Amen. Amen. Uh, God bless you also, Bishop, and Merry Christmas to you. Yes. And hope everything is well. i tell you, um, I challenged my people uh, last week uh, that if they would pull your children and grandchildren to the side. And I said, it's all right uh, to teach them about Santa Claus, but I challenge you to teach them the real meaning of, of Christmas and let them know what this season is all about. And I, and I love that uh, scripture. Uh, what you just said, which means God is with us. 
uh, I was on my prayer line uh, Tuesday night and I was giving my people an inspiration uh, message. And I was teaching them that be encouraged at these times that we are living in because I would let them know that God is with us. And, and we know that the enemy is busy. You got a lot of evil stuff that's going around in our society today. And sometimes if you be real with yourself, it's get hard to get into the spirit because it's a lot of trouble. And when that thing hit home, it's just difficult sometimes. And so I was encouraging them and I told them, go to bed tonight and go to sleep and uh, worry about nothing because God is with us as we sleep in slumber because we serve a God that's real and he never sleeps. He know where we at at all times. And I said, sometimes we got to learn how to trust God a little more and really believe that God is with us instead of just talking it. Just believe it. Believe it in your soul that God is real. And so I told him, go to bed tonight, be encouraged, and wake up in the morning singing that song. I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. And right after that, the phone call called me. And my dad, my wife came in there and told me, she said, oh, my God. She said, oh, your daughter and my daughter, her husband, and all three kids is hit with COVID, all of them. And so I got a little frustrated there for a minute. And the Holy Spirit told me, said, you just taught that last night. Said, you're going to still praise God? Well, you're going to get all blowed out of shape. And I had to catch myself, kneel down and pray. And I know God was with us, just like he's with us now. When you put it out there, you, you got to live this thing. You, 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 you just can't uh, teach it and preach it. But there's something about being a doer of the word of God. And I love that scripture that God is with us. So, so even through difficulties and ups and downs and good times and bad times, God is still with us. Jesus is real. And we got to act like he's real. And just continue to pray and tell him he asked us to ask anything in my name and it shall be given. But that thing shook me up. When that thing hit home, it's, it's a different feeling when it hit home. But me and my wife got together and we prayed and we prayed and we prayed. So it's been about four, five days now. But the day they called us and told us that they hungry, they can eat now. And that's a good sign when you can eat because a lot of folks don't have taste buds when they're down with that COVID. But they called us, go and bring them some food, sit on the front porch and just take off and they say they're doing good. So you you sometimes, Lord, let us go through some things to just, uh, just, just to see what we're going to do. Sometimes we have to go through some tests and, 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 and some trials in life. But he said that I don't overcame the world. But he said, just trust me. And trust me, and be encouraged, because God is with us at all times. So that's what it means to me uh, about Christmas, knowing that we got a living Savior that's an advocate for us. And I don't care what we're going through or where we at, God is real, and ain't no pandemic too big that God cannot solve. We, we serve a mighty God. And we serve an awesome God. So I, I can still, through my trouble, I can lift up my eyes to the hill from which come all our help. And all our help come from the Lord that made heaven and made earth. So I thank God for the word. I thank God for the word. And I, me and my wife, we encourage. And we just know God is with us. And everything is already all right in Christ Jesus. And I thank God right now today. Because we had not been for his son, we wouldn't be celebrating no Christmas. So we 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 just glad today, and we and we happy, and we just ask anybody just be encouraged, uh, believe what the scriptures are saying, and, and, and don't let the enemy get in your way, steal your joy. He tried everything he can to take joy and peace from you, but 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 Jesus said uh, peace. He said peace 
and don't let Satan come in and steal your joy. So I'm still excited. I'm still lifting up Jesus, and I'm still giving him glory, and I'm still giving him praise. In spite of all circumstances, I know God able, and I know yeah. that he can. So I, I'm, I'm all right today, Bishop. I'm all right. Yeah, today. what a Amen. blessing. Yes. What a blessing. You know, as we look at this lesson today and as we remind ourselves, as we remind others, according to Matthew, he's Emmanuel, the New Testament account makes it clear that Jesus, God's son, was the fulfillment of Old Testament prophecy. And he was the long promised Emmanuel sent by God to save his people and to usher in the new kingdom among us that we might walk and be free that he became the mediator between God and man mm -hmm. our redeemer our savior our friend all of this happened 2000 over 2000 years ago yes God looked upon all sin the sins of the world the world was ravished in sin and we were hopeless and we were uh, uh, aimlessly looking to the world, but then he came mm. to live among us. You know, John says that uh, he was the word made flesh yes, sir. and came to dwell among us. And so today to all of you, our, our family and friends, I pray that uh, you have discerned this day as a miracle season, a time to reflect on what he did and why he did it you know he, he came to do much more for humanity to show us the way of salvation but he wanted us to be saved yes. to be eventually redeemed and reconciled back to god the father oh bless his wonderful name and it was his blood we can't yes. tell this story without mentioning the fact of the reason why he was born he was born to die he was born to make uh, man uh, available to God again and be the ultimate sacrifice that God would receive. His, his shed blood brought mm. atonement and remission of our sins. And, and today I, I am just so uh, excited to remind all of us, as if I remind myself of how blessed we are. And I just wanted to jump on today with the brief meditation, play a little music and give scripture to remind us in the midst of our gift giving, he is the gift. Yes, sir. He's own giving yes. uh, throughout every day, every hour, every minute, every second yes. Yes, of sir. the day, we have his wonderful keeping power. As you breathe in and breathe out, you breathe in the breath of God. You breathe in the breath of life. As you exhale, whatever you do, having the activities of your limbs to be in your right mind, we need to praise and thank God. Prayer is needed in, in these times that we are living in. We know the enemy, we're not going to lift him up because we know Jesus is real and he's the God that has all power in heaven and within earth. And prayer is needed all over the world. Not just in Michigan or United States, but prayer is needed all over the world. So we do thank time. We 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 thank God for your time from uh, coming on and sharing with whoever wanted to get in to be able to say something in the name of Jesus. But we do thank you, Lord, because uh, we need prayer. Yeah, so we're gonna have yes. each and every one of whoever is listening. Please stay on bending knees. And keep on praying because it ain't over until God says it's over. But unto him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the glorious presence of the Lord without fault and without great joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majestic power with authority through Jesus Christ, our Lord, before all ages, now and forevermore. And with all the thanks of God, we can get together on one accord. Everyone should be able to say, Amen. Amen. Be blessed and enjoy the rest of your day. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Thank you, Pastor, for jumping on. 
and certainly give our love to your, your wife and family as y'all continue to celebrate. Well, friends, thank you for giving us these few moments. If you missed any part of this, you can go back on the Interdenominational Seminary Churches USA page. So we bless you today and listen, we'll be back on New Year's Day next Saturday. Oh, we'll be able to celebrate together a new beginning. And we're calling this 2022, the year of fulfillment. So join us uh, next Saturday, 5 p.m. We'll be live right here on Spotlight on Ministry. Until then, we command the blessings of the Lord to overtake you. Bless you, Pastor Mahone. Thank you, sir. Amen. Bless you. Amen.